If there's anything that the past year has shown us is that climate change and disasters keep striking, even in the midst of a pandemic. And in many cases, these disasters hit the most vulnerable communities. There's also no question that we need adaptation interventions to protect against the impacts of natural hazards. Over the past decades, the default option for addressing climate change and disasters has been through gray infrastructure, dikes to keep our feet dry during a flooding, or water storage facilities that buffer water in times of drought. Now, while these investments are effective and much needed, they also have their limitations. They're often quite expensive to construct and the cement, steel and other construction materials come at a high carbon footprint. Now, once constructed, these interventions are also expensive or even impossible to adjust to the uh, changing dynamics of climate change, for example. And this is really where nature-based solutions or green infrastructure come in. Nature-based solutions have the potential to strengthen resilience to climate change while bringing additional benefits for people and the environment. Examples are the development of urban parks that buffer flooding, reduce urban heat, and improve urban living conditions and the local economy, or the restoration of coral reefs that provide coastal protection while supporting the important ecosystem and the fisheries and the tourism industry that rely on it. Such interventions can also be implemented as hybrid solutions with great infrastructure, bringing down the cost and, the, and, and bringing in the additional benefits that the ecosystems provide. Now, the World Bank has already invested significantly in nature-based solutions and has made NBS a key part of the institution's response, response to COVID-19 uh, and as well as to climate change. And GFDR has been one of the key drivers behind this increased focus on NBS. Since 2012, the World Bank has invested over $4 billion in NBS for climate resilience purposes globally. And since 2018, we see that the portfolio on NBS investments has grown by 20% showing the strong demand from both clients and also the support from the institution behind this. Now, one example of such an investment is in the city of Beira in Mozambique. Here, the World Bank, with co-financing from Germany and informed by GFDRR grants, financed the creation of one of the largest urban parks in Africa. It's specifically designed to fight flooding while improving urban living conditions for 50,000 inhabitants with bike paths, a botanical garden, a restaurant, creating local jobs in the process. The NBS system worked very well during Cyclone Idai that hit in 2019. And after the Cyclone, uh, the World Bank approved an additional $60 million towards uh, green infrastructure and gray infrastructure in the city. And uh, partners from the Netherlands and Germany are also joining in with another 60 million in these type of interventions. Now, in addition to supporting NBS in over 20 countries with grants totaling over $30 million in the past three years alone, GFDRR has also supported key analytical tools, knowledge products, capacity building and partnerships to increase the uptake of MBS. Partnerships and key joint flagship reports were established with a range of organizations, including the World Resource Institute, UNDP, the US Army Corps of Engineers and many others. However, still much more needs to be done. There are gaps in the knowledge on how to analyze, design and monitor MBS. Governments around the world need technical support to help identify the key opportunities for MBS and integrate these into investment planning. And as demand for MBS is quickly outpacing what we've been able to support so far, uh, which is a good sign. So now GFDR is launching an ambitious new global program on nature-based solutions for climate resilience. The program will scale up the technical support we can give to governments and cities globally and develop new knowledge products and innovative tools to map, analyze and monitor MBS. We'll also further expand and strengthen international par partnerships. The end goal is really to make sure that MBS are the go-to option for addressing the challenges in an integrative way. And in collaboration with our partners, we can achieve that governments, World Bank teams, development partners, engineers, consider MBS as part of the solution to climate risks from the very start and have the right knowledge tools and partners to do so. Thank you very much for your attention.